Hello everybody and welcome, I'm Son of Moga. It's Wednesday and it's quickly become one of my favourite days to do um, games. Because Species is on a Wednesday now and it, I, I'm loving this. So, for those of you who don't know, this is part two of a series on calling Evolve or Die. Where I simply just torture the creatures. Yeah, I'm just putting them in steadily, increasingly worse situations. And then out of the ones that survive, I'm going to take them out of this world and put them in another world and then make that situation worse. Currently, I'm doing temperature. Hmm. It does say I'm at zero degrees, which isn't where we were before. Ah. That's a thing. Yeah, so anyway, what I've been doing is, is either waiting until the population hits the cap so they can't breed anymore, or waiting until they've gone through 25 generations to give them time to evolve. And then I've been putting the temperature up, waiting, putting the temperature up. So that's what I'm going to continue doing in this one to see if they evolve or die. That's the whole... The whole premise of this series that I'm going to do. Oh. So, ah, right. So it said zero, but when I clicked it, it went back to where we were. I think we was at 58 something previously. Now, there was, while I wasn't recording, I was just waiting for the generations to go by. So I didn't have to do a skip right at the beginning of the video. There was actually a bunch of new creatures evolving. However, it's it most of them died, but I think several of them didn't. Let's have a look. We've got this guy. Oh, yes, this, this is the guy with the booty. He yeah, has the booty. We've got <laughs> this guy. Oh, yeah, this is the one that just spontaneously developed the neck in the last episode. We've got this, which is... It's pretty closely related if you look up the trailer. It's a major species, and this is a major species, but they're 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 related, so that's that's nice. And we've got this new species here, but there's only two of them. I don't really expect them to survive that long. And the dominant species is this one with a gigantic eyeball on the back of its head, because that's where eyeballs go. It's the ugliest thing. God damn it! So I've already put the temperature up. Let's put it on fast forward and oh, there's a bunch of them below me. Let's let's have a look. I still don't like the way this camera controls. Let's see how these guys do. Oh, oh, they're dying so quickly. Oh, oh, no. Oh, holy Christ. It went from like a thousand to it's 300. 200. Oh, God, are they going to? Go extinct. That one click made a hell of a difference, did it not? Go on, survive. Breed. Oh, oh no. Did I kill them all? Oh, I killed all of these ones. There's only one species left. Where are they? Uh oh, I think I may have killed them all. I think I, think I did that. Although... They, they are fighting. Oh, they're breeding. Let me go see if I can find them. Oh, it's these guys. Um, Again, the camera. I'm, I'm kind of shocked that they can live in these conditions. I mean, look at the damn... Oh, look at the world. Like, the only place with food is the ocean, and it's getting pretty toasty in there. It's at reef at 30 degrees Celsius. Not sure how that translates into Fahrenheit. It's been a while since I've had to do that calculation. Oh, God. That I'm going to watch this for a little while. Normally, I would do a time skip. But I think they might be going extinct. Although, they are breeding. If they can have lots of babies, they'll do quite well. That was amazing, 
to me. We went from, what was it, four or five species to one, and all I did was click this once. That's kind of shocking to me. They're, they're almost surviving? Very almost surviving. Look at them running around desperately trying to live. This smoke coming off the, the ground, it's so damn hot. Like, if I point the cursor at this, it just says lava, 61 degrees. <laughs> damn. That's really very hot for those of you that operate in Fahrenheit. This is hot desert of 47. Again, that's that's pretty, that's pretty freaking hot. The beach is nearly 40 degrees. The water itself is like between what 25 and 37 that's it's warm for an ocean they they are barely clinging to life but this is the whole point like if any species is going to survive it will be this species but they're not doing particularly well at surviving right now he says as they start to breed on mass that's actually good as well, because once an area gets like overpopulated, they'll migrate away in search for different food sources. Like there's food here at the moment. I think some of this stuff is food, I forget. It's like, uh, cause I think they can eat the reef and the algae and things like that, but they'll start to migrate round the edge of the island. And like round here in search of new food sources that are less competitive, which should eventually cause speciation, which means we'll have two species instead of just this one. But I'm, I'm kind of tempted just to stop putting the water down. Like I tried to kill them all in the last the last few videos that I did by slowly raising the water, I was trying to make them evolve gills. It didn't didn't work. But every species alive in this world is a direct descendant of that one that I started with. I don't know if you'll be able to see that see that from the clade diagram. Whoa! What? What happened there? I think I broke it somehow. What was that? Yeah, see, this is what we started with, this guy. And everything that's currently alive, this one species, is a direct descendant of this. Look, he come down, look, it split off into these evolutionary dead ends. And then it took like a, a sharp right turn into a new species. And this is the only one that's managed to survive these temperatures. And just look at it. I can't imagine this thing surviving anything, but it, it seems to be seems to be working. The numbers are slowly recovering. Look, they're back up over a hundred. I is the impressed, can you tell? Let me just have a look at their statistics. They're oily furred. They're herbivores. They just went, just then, as I was looking at it, from, from omnivores to herbivores. And, and then it then it went away. They're oily furred. The, their optimal temperature is um, that, and it's way hotter than that. They're lukewarm-blooded. It does have a minus number in the respiratory system, which means they are sort of going towards having gills. For those of you who don't know, negative values will breathe best in water. Oh, it says right there on the screen. And positive values will breathe best in air. Currently, they're sort of in the middle right now. Uh, they've got pathetic health, minimal energy, decent walk speed. They're inexhaustible stamina, which means they get into food when they need it. They've got a good swim speed, a reasonable swim stamina. They keep dying while I'm trying to examine the attributes. They're narcoleptic, like me. They're aggressive, they're brave, they... God damn it, they ignore temperature. They are... They are really struggling to survive, though. Let me have a look at... 
Oh god, it's so ugly. I don't want it on my screen. Oh, they're at 155. When I started this video, they were at 125-ish. I've been rabbiting on for a while. I, I guess I'll do a time skip then. I'll wait until this gets to 175 or this gets to the creature cap. I think they're going to pass 25 generations before they hit the creature cap. I don't know if there's a possibility anymore for them to do that. But... I will uh, be back momentarily so you guys can either witness an increase in temperature or an extinction. Maybe both. Okay, so I'm back. I uh, waited a little bit longer than I would have normally. I was hoping the population would recover. It it, it hasn't. If we take a look. Uh, I, I, clicked, I, I clicked into the wrong button. I'm having real issues concentrating right now. God damn it. And that's Devil Princess sending me a message. Bless her. So, yeah, I waited until the 200th generation. Just to give them time to, like, adapt and evolve and change. And we've had a few speciations. But none of them survived. Look. Do, 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 do. Dead, 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 dead. And my feeling is that when I increase the temperature here, that it will in fact just kill them all. So I'm going to do a quick save. Like so. Um, I'm going to... Let me have a look. I'm going to export this guy just... Oh, oh dear. I'm going to export this guy just in case they go extinct and then in the next if that happens I'll end this episode and I'll start the next episode where I'll put them in a world where the temperature is roughly normal and then I'm just going to slowly take away the food and see what happens so this is the evolve or die temperature creature I don't know why it displays that picture. That's the, the micro-humans that, that I, I worked on in previous videos. So if I export that... Oh! Oh, it did that thing! It, 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 it did that thing where everything disappears. It does sometimes come back. Hang on. Give it a moment. Why does it do that? Um... Uh... uh Damn it. Okay, well, let me... This is an early access game, so it's going to have a few issues every now and again. What is all this down here? What are you? That's a sulfur lake. I don't know if that's food or not. Oh! Oh, it came back! And the water got higher quality. I'm not sure why it does that. It just kind of does. Right then. Let's uh, put the temperature up and see how these guys do my suspicion is they're just gonna get dead so we're going from 59.6 to 64 Ooh, <laughs> those are big jumps man come on guys you can do it oh another species evolved and then immediately became extinct because that's how this game works now oh come on Oh, live! Live! Do it! Oh, no! And they're all dead. Right. I just want to see for a moment. How high does this go? 64, 68, 70. So we were pretty close to the cap there before they all died. I mean, look at this world. It's such an utter barren wasteland. But you, but you see, global warming is a good thing because CO2 is plant food. Plant food! <laughs> I feel like that's the devs just having a dig at science deniers. <laughs> Which is pretty funny. I wasn't expecting that to happen. I don't know if there's anything I can do to rectify the situation and have them live longer. I really don't think there is. So I'll end the episode here, a little bit shorter than normal, but it's because I didn't have to record as long. Normally these um, recordings go over two hours, which is a pain in the neck to edit, but I don't mind because 
I love my subscribers. I love you all. You're all good people. You're awesome. And you support me, which I like. So, um... Yes, thank you everyone for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll be doing part three next week where I'll put these guys in a verdant environment with plenty of food and then slowly take it away to see what happens. We have a saved version of this creature, which is pretty sturdy at this point. Are they not? They're, they're, they're pretty, pretty robust. So, um... Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. If you don't do that, I'll make you live here. I, I will. I'll just make you live here. And that's what you're going to get if you don't like and subscribe. So, yes, again, once again, thank you to everyone who supports me, to everyone that puts their comments in the comments section, that gives the video some like. It really does help the channel grow and become more visible on YouTube. Most of you will know that the best way to be big on YouTube is to already be big on YouTube. The little guys like me really struggle to get any kind of visibility on YouTube. And everything you guys have been doing helps me. And I can't thank you all enough for that. I will be back. What day is it tomorrow? What day is it today? I've completely lost my brain. I told you I had trouble concentrating, didn't I? I wasn't lying when I said that. It's Thursday tomorrow, because it's Wednesday today, and Thursday follows Wednesday. So I might do a video tomorrow. I probably won't. I normally take Thursdays off so I don't get burnt out. So it'll be probably Friday that I'll see you for our next episode of, of Raft. I have no idea what's going on in Raft. I've completely forgotten. My brain has turned to mush. There's so much going on like in the world and my life right now that it's just a mushy brain day so that yeah so i'm son of mokef this is species artificial life real evolution a game that i recommend to anyone that likes games that are like this the one that if you want to play a, an evolutionary simulator this is one of the best ones so um you can get it on steam it's relatively cheap i'll see you yeah i'll see you either tomorrow or friday probably friday Probably.